you're from a big city and you come here, it's just like what you see in the Wild West movies. It's a rural area, lovely people, all Southern hospitality. And, you know, there's division in about every community you get to, but it's, it's a really loving town. And if you don't want to be near the noise and all the extra stuff, it's a great place to be. I was born in Pakistan and uh, my family moved here when I was about six months old to California. And then we moved to Georgia when I was about two. And my parents, they've owned a gas station in Washington for about 20 years to help me get through college. So right after I graduated is right when the pandemic hit and nobody wanted to work at the time. And so my parents lost a bunch of employees. So. I had to work for them once I graduated for about two years and I was losing all my computer skills because I was just working at the store consistently. A guy actually came to the store and told me he would, they were building a fence line out here for a Bitcoin mining facility and I was really shocked because it's such a rural area. They knew just as well as I did that this is a foot in the door to the technology world to where I could have something on my resume to stick out and grow. Starting out, most people don't even know this is a Bitcoin facility. They think it's, they think they're a chicken house, and so being in the country, you know, you're pretty you're pretty more than likely to see a chicken house somewhere, and so um that that shows you kind of a lot of what the work is around here. You have farms, warehouses, like I say, fast food, and schools. That's pretty much it as far as the workforce here. After 33 years in law enforcement. Uh, just got kind of burnt out, kind of, you know, kind of, kind of had to have something new to do. And uh, this opportunity came up and it was totally out of the blue. I actually came here uh, at the suggestion of a friend to help the, my former employer find people to work here because I was a commander at the VFW and they were looking for military folks. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm here. You know, I gave them kind of threw my name in the hat. And two days later, they made an offer for me to come out here and work. I go home, talk to my wife, and she was like, Are, do you really want to do this? I said, yeah, I really want to do this. I want out of what I was doing. And she goes, okay. And she's been super supportive ever since. Washington is roughly two hours outside of Atlanta. It's a very small town, approximately like 5,000 people. It's very, very rare that you'll have someone be able to come off the street with very little job experience that gets to work in a data center of this scale. It's a really unique job and you can take those skill sets and apply them to you know, just about anything. Um, up there, we use a, utilize a different technology, uh, air-cooled, uh, which is what you know most Bitcoin miners are using. We do it in a pretty creative way where it's completely passive, so we're not using intake and exhaust fans, really driving the efficiency and making sure that all the power that we pull is going into the miners and, and not into cooling them. A large mix of our power is coming from these nuclear power plants all across the state of Georgia, and that's why we're here. Um, a lot of the other mix is either coming from solar and, and wind, so we really try and pick locations that both want us and have excess power where we're not causing strain on the ecosystem and the environment there, but also knowing that the power is coming from renewables, particularly nuclear. The, the things that Bitcoin can do for the environment and generally producing more energy is really amazing. A lot of the times when people want to go, um, you know, build large scale renewable resources, a lot of the times they need a base load, they need a way to pay for it. And I think Bitcoin has shown over and over again that we can use Bitcoin mining as a way to really lay the baseline for these, you know, large scale renewable energy projects. And on top of that, if you look at our industry compared to a lot of under, other industries, especially CleanSpark, we utilize more clean energy than just about any other industry in the world. And you know, we're running mostly you know 90% plus renewables. So it's it's definitely benefiting the community here. Um, we're providing jobs, um, more to come on that also, and it's well-paying jobs, and it's a big benefit I think to the community. Uh, as my wife would always tell me, working in law enforcement, I had to be a pessimist. And the reason I was a pessimist is it kept me alive. It, you'll go home at night and literally sit down and cry. And it makes it that hard. And you see that a lot in officers and friends of mine. Um, this has been enlightening to me. I, it's been, uh, as my wife would tell me, you have a much better attitude when I go home every day. Um, I, I feel better, I'm healthier, I, I'm enjoying 
I guess you could call it the, the lifestyle. I mean, really, it, it is it is it's very refreshing to understand that. You know, before this, my resume was gas station employee. So having Clean Spark in Washington, Georgia is is a great thing for this for the city. It's a tech like for kids inspiring to be something in a technical field or in a computer field, they have an opportunity to be close to home and learn stuff here before branching out, which we didn't have before the facility got here. Like I said, we had schools here. And eventually I feel like that could trickle down into teaching them about new things in technology. And technology is a growing field in itself, so I feel like that would be great.